for tuning in. In this video, we are going to be making our own strawberry banana Nutella white chocolate sauce crepes from scratch. Uh, crepes are so simple to make. You don't need a crepe maker. You just need a nonstick pan. This is how my strawberry banana Nutella white chocolate sauce crepe turned out. It's so delicious. And these, these crepes can actually be found as a dessert in many restaurants. And this dessert is really um, a crowd pleaser, really great for parties. You can actually make mini crepes for parties. This, the, what, the crepe that I actually made is actually good for two. This is a really big crepe. And crepes are really delicious with ice cream. So let's go ahead and begin. And I'm gonna go over the list of ingredients that you'll need a wee bit of water, some Nutella, which I have placed in a squeeze bottle, some bananas, some white chocolate sauce, but this is optional. You don't need to use white chocolate sauce, but I actually really like the flavor. So I have white chocolate sauce. You'll need some milk, a half a cup of milk specifically, a little dash of salt, which I have placed in a container, um, a cup of all-purpose flour, which I keep in a steel container, two eggs, a little bit of olive oil. You'll also need a nonstick pan to make your Nutella. You'll also need a blender, and if if you don't want to use a blender, you can actually mix all the ingredients into a bowl and um, mix vigorously. But a blender really helps, and just some bowls and um, measuring. Um, utensil so let's go ahead and begin so to begin let's just quickly wash our strawberries so once your strawberries have been washed I actually like to just lay them out on a towel to dry like so and just give them a good little pat to dry making sure not to squeeze the strawberries or bruise them in any way and now the next step is to Chop your strawberries and place them in any bowl of your choice. So once you've chopped up all your strawberries, you're ready to chop your banana too. So peel your banana. And we're ready to chop our banana. And once you've chopped all your bananas, you can actually put it in the same bowl as your strawberries. So just place your bananas and strawberries in the fridge and we'll work on batter. Okay, so now to our crepe batter, you're gonna need a cup of flour. This is half a cup and another half a cup. And you're also going to um, place two eggs in your blender with the flour. Then you're going to turn on your blender to blend or mix actually. that the consistency will look like this. After you've blended the flour and eggs, add a half a cup of water into the mixture, into the blender, which is about four ounces. Half a cup is four ounces. So go ahead and add your half a cup of water and add half a cup of milk as well. But this time around, um, gradually add half a cup. So at the moment I'm going to add only a quarter cup. A little bit more. And then I'm going to mix it. After I blended it, I'm going to add the rest of the remaining milk, which was a quarter cup, and I'm going to turn it on and mix. Once everything is completely mixed, just add a dash of salt, like so, just a little bit. Turn it on again and mix. So after
after mixing everything in the blender, your mixture should look like this. Let me actually pour all the contents into the into here. And as you can see, the mixture is a lot thinner in consistency than your pancake mix. It's kind of like water. Like, let me actually show you. So it's a lot thinner. And we're ready to um, fry up our crepe. Um, just place a half a tablespoon of olive oil onto your non-stick pan. Spread it around for a while, like so. Just spread it around to medium heat. We're going to go ahead and begin. And uh, for measuring purposes, if you'd like, I'm going to place about a half a cup of batter onto the pan like so. And as you can see, it heats up pretty quickly. And then I'm just going to move it around like this. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I'm just going to move it around and let it cook for a little bit. So this crepe looks like it's about ready to be turned. I'm just going to quickly go under it with my pan and flip it over like so and cook it for a bit more seconds but because I cooked it a little bit longer on this side I'm just gonna cook the other side a little bit less because it was completely cooked throughout and as you can see using a non-stick pan really helps your crepe from not so now it looks like it's about ready I'm gonna just grab it and place it onto a plate like this and we're ready to decorate our crepe. So I'm gonna just quickly go over the whole entire crepe with some Nutella. And then going to distribute some white chocolate sauce onto my crepe. And now it's time to decorate. Just in one corner, place your strawberries and bananas and then fold your crepe like so and just kind of just distribute the strawberries and bananas evenly. I see crepes look like this but I actually like to have a little bit more fruit in the middle so I'm going to just add one layer of fruit again and I'm going to just add a little bit of sauce inside this part too And then I'm going to close my crepe like this. And I'm going to place it in the middle like so. I am then going to distribute some white chocolate sauce throughout the plate like so, decorating the plate. As well as doing the same with Nutella. I'm just going to give it a practice squeeze. Nutella is thick and um, really difficult to remove and if you don't have a squeeze bottle you can always use a plastic bag like this place Nutella inside cut this part and squeeze it and that actually works better so let me go ahead and distribute some Nutella evenly onto the plate like so, so I'm just gonna quickly add strawberries and bananas on top to decorate the plate as well as some on the side. This is actually great for sharing because this is a lot. So thank you friends so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my strawberry banana Nutella crepe. Crepes are really delicious with whipped cream or a little bit of vanilla ice cream. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and enjoy my delicious crepe. Thank you friends so much for watching. And if you're interested in a really quick and easy healthy dinner idea, I have a video right here which you can click right here and it's a uh, it will lead you to my how to make pesto from scratch as well as a simple dinner idea with pesto, asparagus, and sausages. So I hope you enjoy that recipe. Thank you friends so much for tuning in. You can find more at aprilathena7.blogspot.com and if you haven't subscribed yet, it would mean so much to me. Thank you and enjoy your crepe.